Good morning, everyone. This is Teacher Marvin, your English teacher. So anyway, how are you today? Okay, I hope you're doing good and feel better. But anyway, as you can see, I don't have a camera, but because my camera is not working, but don't worry, but because uh, it's not necessary for now, okay? So th this time, our subject is conversation, all right? So I told you many times that when we say conversation, it refers to a different activity for your listening and speaking, how to communicate to everyone using the English language. Now this time, what you are going to learn is about how to respond from the different questions. And that is only five questions. All right, so are you ready? Okay, so we have here the first question. Say for example, what day was yesterday? Again, if someone asked you what day was yesterday, then how you answer that in English? How you are going to answer that in English? Of course, yesterday was Sunday. Again, yesterday was Sunday. So if someone asked you what day was yesterday, then you have to say, yesterday was Sunday. Okay, say for example, what day today? So you have to say, today is Monday. All right, so what day is to, what day today? Today is Monday. And if someone asked you what day will be tomorrow, what day will be tomorrow? So you have to say tomorrow will be Tuesday. All right, so do not be confused when to use the was, when to use will be, and um, and also about the past, okay? To what day was, was is a past tense. What day will be, will be is a future tense. And that's it. So that is how you are going to respond. Say, for example, what day was yesterday? Then you have to say, yesterday was Sunday. All right? Okay, proceed. So our second question is, say for example, what country do you live in? Okay, what country do you live in? This is asking for a, your information about where do you live? What kind of nationalities you have? Okay, so what country do you live? Do you live in? What country do you live in? So I know you are Thai national. Okay, so you have to say, I live in Thailand. I live in Thailand. Okay, because you are a Thai, then you have to say, I live in Thailand. Take note that Thailand is a place and Thai is a nationality. Say for example, teacher Marvin, I, I live in Philippines and my nation and my nationalities is Filipinos okay or Philippine okay so what country do you live in so I live in Thailand what country do you live in I live in Thailand all right so that is how you are going to respond again what country do you live in? So you have to answer, I live in Thailand. If you are an American, then you have to say, 
I live in United States of America or I live in USA. If you are American. And teacher Marvin and teacher John is a Philippine, then we have to say we live in Philippines. Okay, so that is how you are going to answer. All right, so let us proceed to next. Okay, this is about chopsticks. Okay, I know you love to eat your food. I know that Thai people have a, a myriad of delicious foods and then in one of the most um, uh, well-known uh, food here in Thailand is what we call the somtam and what we call the pad thai and then I really don't know um, why Thai people are so very good using chopsticks because in Philippines we don't have uh, we're not used to do it using the chopsticks, but some of us can use can use it. Okay, so if someone asks you, can you use chopsticks? Then you have to say, yes, I can use chopsticks. If you know how to use chopsticks, okay? If you know how to use chopsticks, and then you have to say, yes, I can use chopsticks. But if you don't know how to use chopsticks, you have to say, no, I cannot use chopsticks, okay? You have to use cannot, okay? From the word not, cannot, okay? So you have to say, no, I cannot use chopsticks, okay? Can you use chopsticks? If you can, if you can then you have to say, Yes, I can use chopsticks. But if you don't know how to use chopsticks, then you have to say, no, I cannot use chopsticks. Please do not say, no, I can use chopsticks. Okay, you have to say cannot. Cannot and no is always a prerequisite. Okay, so if it's understand, it's really understandable that if you use no, then you have to say, I cannot, okay? But if you use yes, you have to say, you can. Yes, I can, all right? So can you use chopsticks? Yes, I can use chopsticks. Can you use chopsticks? No, I cannot use chopsticks. So that is how you, you are going to respond, all right? So. Next is, what is your favorite food? If someone asks you what is your favorite food, then I know we have a different food here. We have a rich in, in different kinds of food here in Thailand. And if you would ask me what is my favorite food, and then one, one of my favorite food here in Thailand is what we call the Pad Thai. All right? So now... If, what is your favorite food? So you have to say, my favorite food is pizza. All right. If someone asks you, what is your favorite food? Then you can say, my favorite food is pizza. Okay. Now, we have, you can say also, my favorite food is fried rice. Okay. I know you love fry. Uh, I know you love fried rice, especially at your age. Okay. So again, what is your favorite food? So my favorite food is pizza. My favorite food is fried rice. So that is how you are going to respond from the given question. Okay. And our last question is. What month is next month? Okay, can you remember we have 12 months in a year? So we have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Okay, so what month is next month? So 
you have to say next month is March because this month is February. Okay. So now that's the end of our lesson. I what you are going to do is you have to take a video of yourself and let someone ask you at least uh, three questions from this given question. So you have to take a video and send your video clip to our line group. Again, this is Teacher Marvin, your English teacher, and always take care of yourself. Please be careful and please be safe. And I hope to see you on Thursday. Bye-bye.